Connor from California said, In my state, we've been hearing a lot about a low-carbon fuel standard as part of our state's climate change laws. What is this, and how does it affect me? Excellent question. Uh, California has already implemented what's called a low-carbon fuel standard. Uh, other areas of the country and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency have also expressed interest in looking at low-carbon fuel standards. Uh, but it's a little bit under the radar. Not many people know about it. Um, low carbon fuel standards essentially look at the life cycle emissions of gasoline and diesel and where that gasoline and diesel comes from. And it would uh, essentially uh, remove or reduce the use of gasoline and diesel in the marketplace in favor of alternative uh, energy resources, which frankly are not yet available in enough supply to meet market need. So what low carbon fuel standards essentially do is, is raise energy prices, gasoline and diesel prices, for consumers everywhere. Uh, the technology is not quite available. It's not there yet. Um, and frankly, the, the reducing the emissions that low carbon fuel standards strive to do is too expensive. The cost benefit analysis is a little bit turned upside down. Uh, we have a great emission track record in this country over the last 30 years a lot of very cost-effective emission reduction strategies have been put in place. Unfortunately, low-carbon fuel standards are not one of those cost-effective emission reduction strategies. So Consumer Energy Alliance is, is very active in its opposition of low-carbon fuel standards, and we urge uh, all of you out there to express your opposition to low-carbon fuel standards as well. You can learn more about it at our website, consumerenergyalliance.org, and we also have a website dedicated just to the low-carbon fuel standard issue called secureourfuels.org. Go to both of those websites and, and learn more and express your opposition to low carbon fuel standard. It's not what this nation needs at this time.